Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 26 of my let's play of Mon Moose Quest Paradox RPG, Confrontation Chapter. Today we're exploring Remina with our regular party. So, this is Remina as it was before being destroyed. It, it does actually have some portions that resembled what we've seen inside the Tartaros. So, if we investigate this town, maybe we'll under solve some mysteries. Yeah, basically the same stuff that we said with Atlas, Elias. So, that's not possible. This is 500 years before that. There's nothing we can really get from investigating this place 500 years different, so... Let's just think about preparing ourselves for the battle at the Mao Castle. Oh, this place looks popular. Oh, a bunch of religious people are swearing that they should be shut down. That's great. So, it's a research facility. And this guy says, This is a research facility, but we are also an educational institution. And to those who graduate from our school, we give the pinnacle of science. That's an item. The pinnacle of science is, if I recall properly, something that allows us to get to the highest tier of the scientist class. Class tiers. Hmm, well, that's an item we should like. I understood then. I'll enroll in the academy. You'll enroll. But our school's entrance examination is the hardest in the world. Done. It's the basics of chemistry, isn't it? Oh, wow. Well, even if you can skip grades by such by passing tests and such, our curriculum is... etc, etc. Now, 17 minutes later... I'm done. With this, I've graduated, right? Thanks for everything. So, Pinnacle of Science. Well, if we have this, the top classes of the scientist branch. Great. Well, that's really amazing, you. How about you teach all of us here? Or, if that's no good, become my bride. No. She's kind of a bitch, isn't she? Okay, so Remina. You may recall, remember this part of Remina. In the first Tartarus we visited, we went through the mystery door and came out approximately here. In, well, a degraded form of this area. And then right in here, we were able to recruit Nuriko. She's in my party. I wish she would eat some apples. That would be hilarious. Anyway. After that, we headed north, and there was an exit around here. Oh, hey! Kitsune Senpai lesson time! So, camera says, Kitsune Senpai, why is it that the rainbow has seven colors? Uh, that is, um... Wait a minute, Kamuro. Something's weird here. No way, we've switched places. Hmm, interesting. So, are they saying that my two Kitsune literally swapped bodies or something? Or those are two different Kitsune entirely, and they were having a conversation that bizarrely resembled my own Kitsunes? Oh. I guess. Next, in the second Artaros, after the door we came out approximately here. Or are you just standing there, guy? And, in this building we recruited Promistine. It's just an item shop, though. Well, an item shop with a battle talker. And after that, there was a whole chunk of the map, like, right through here that was missing. And then another exit right there. There wasn't any of Remina in the third Tartaros. But this was the fourth Tartaros which we saw not too long ago. In fact, it was connected to here. We entered the castle, 
and then there was a wall right there so it made us go around like this and then finally we could go upstairs after doing that nobody in the throne of course and we passed through a hole in the wall right there come down here and the exit was right here so yeah tartara stuff This guy has the same stuff to say, except without the addendum of Heinrich. In any case, we're a hero, we're off to defeat them all. And somehow, Luca resembles his daughter's eyes. Alright, let's give you this. Warrior God's full. Alright, so, highest level of the warrior class. Three. Shouldn't you give it to Heinrich? No, do it with Remination. He thinks we're on a better, bigger mission than even Heinrich. So, yeah, that's what I mean, huh? Be sure to equip yourself unless you're on very easy like I am. Because it's a long walk to the Maul Castle. You know, here we are. Man, it's so overpowering here, it's hard to breathe. Well, naturally. There are extremely powerful monsters wandering around in here. So you can't let down your guard for even a minute. So, you remember our objective? We're here to find the blue orb, and nothing else. Don't think of anything else. No matter what kind of mistake you make, we must not try and fight the Mao. No matter how many lives you might happen to have, it, it won't be enough. And furthermore, we have no purpose in doing it. Yeah, we better not meet that Mao. He 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 he. Hmm, but where would the blue orb be? We can't just wander around aimlessly. This place is too big. Well, it's considerably different from the present Mao Castle, so I can't say for certain. Since the age of Black Alice, it's been had large-scale remodelings done to it. But let's ask some monsters that seem to be wandering around aimlessly themselves. That'd be fastest. All right, let's talk to them if they look like they have free time. Yeah, whatever. First thing first, in this chest you can get the Silver Dragon statue. You recall we needed that for our quest. And right up here, this is the Mao's throne room. Now uh, we come in here and Alice Romeria declares that she's going to take a little walk. So she leaves our party. Oh, this is bad. This is the Mao's throne room. We have to pull out immediately. We must not fight with Black Alice. Yeah, whatever. Hey look, free stuff. And she'll just let us walk out with it too. But hell, let's talk to her. So, you've come to my castle. It seems you've come from a long way away, travelers. So, what business do you have with me? Don't tell me you want to defeat me and bring peace to the world. Oh, it's Black Alice. Luca, are you thinking... Are you actually thinking of fighting her? Well, you can say yes or you can say no. I'm gonna say no because I don't have time for that. Oh, you're going to leave without even greeting me. Why don't you stay and have some, chi and have some tea? Hmm, well, whatever. Well, rather than saying I don't have time for it, I'm thoroughly not prepared with this party. I mean, she's bad news. Hey look, a recovery part. You know what that means. Time for a boss. So, Black Leaf. And she says we're bad children. Trying to come to the treasure room. You guys are. This is Black something or other. 
Anyway, she says, we're the three black nobles. Don't tell me you've never heard of us. Nobody in the world hasn't. Hey, didn't Heinrich already defeat you girls? So, these are the three black nobles. Be careful. They're confidants of Black Alice. And this is Black Snake. And so, if you're after the treasures of the Ma'o Castle, you can have my spear. Well, we need those treasures, so let's do this. These guys take a surprisingly large amount of punishment. Ah, no way. We have lost. Okay, let's retreat. But don't think that you've won. We swear we'll fight you again. So, when you stand before us again, we'll win for sure. Yeah, whatever. Heh. There won't be any rematch or anything. Hell, we won't even meet again. So now that they're out of the way, let's explore this little treasure room. Oh, of course, even the other treasures we're going to help ourselves to. Hehe. <laughs> Naturally. There's no harm in taking it. Ah, this is the t These are the instances that make me glad to be a pirate. I'm, I'm of the same mind. Middle lady. Hey, hey, hey. So, a black sword. Um, princess guard. Looks like some kind of mace. Flay dagger. Zantetsuken again. Wait, where did I see that before? I'm sure I talked about it. Anyway, this is the blue orb. Well, the silver orb of the past is here as well, but we don't need it. Alright, so we got our hands on the blue orb. So our business here is done, let's get the hell out. And with this, we've gotten our hands on all six of the orbs. So then we can go to the Shrine of the Rock. The Shrine of the Rock. As I recall, it was in Gold... West Gold, the desert region. Well, yeah, we can harpy feather straight to it. So, at the magic circle in the shrine, we can offer up the six orbs and revive the rock that flies the skies. And if we have the rock carrying us, we can get into Helgond. Thanks for the review, everybody. All right, let's go to let's go to the rock shrine immediately. Let's get this legendary god bird on our side. Yeah, sure. Actually, I have other priorities. You remember the silver dragon statue that we picked up, right? Recall that these girl, this girl, wanted the silver dragon statue in order to finalize our trade with them. So this is truly the silver dragon statue. Of course, we'll pay you a fair price for it. 45,000 gold. That's actually a lot. So then, as promised, we're going to be exchanging the light and darkness magic stones. Of course, the sale price you can is a problem that you get to determine on your own. Well, thank you very much. So it'll be pleasure. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Now in Vanilla Shop, we get the big, big holy stones and the big darkness stones. So that will basically wrap us up for this episode. But the next one, we get to track through the rest of these. Gigi, we haven't touched in a while, but she has a couple of things to do. This is a quest that activated after the second meeting of the monarchs. 
I came in here and checked before and thought there would be no quest. But it turns out I hadn't advanced the plot far enough, so now we finally get to do Elle's quest. Anyway, she's talking about the people in the Natalia region that she hurt. So she wants to clear away the sin as the next queen and such. Seems like she's pretty worried, so let's talk to her here in the Maul Castle. Next on the list, also after the Monarch meeting. When Grand Gold was assaulted, King Grand Gold here actually appeared before his own people. And thanks to that, everybody's thinking that it's a, that he's a new type of golem. So I wonder if the people will really accept me as I am now. So he'd like to consult with us. Next up, Boney's got a quest for us. The fish has received a challenge, a battle challenge. It's from the Gloria Pirates, a pirate group of all human women. Hmm, interesting. So their ship is east out of the Marine headquarters. So let's head over there and beat them up. Promacine wants to learn about the process of becoming a vampire. So she'd like to get some samples of vampire blood. So she wants to go to the vampire pub and collect some. But if she goes by herself, the, they say that they're, she is a hindrance to their business, so they get mad at her. Oh. Well. So we have a selection of side quests to handle next time. So. We're about ready to go and summon the rock. <coughs> yeah, summon the rock. But side quests next time. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time with our side quests.